feeling of new makeup. Oh god, I think that the shade is too light on me. And this, my friend, is makeup. Here's another. My name is Manita and in today's video I'm going to try out new makeups that I bought a very long time ago. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So to start with, I have this Pons uh, face cream. It is super light gel oil free moisturizer for non-sticky glowing skin and it contains hyaluronic acid and vit vitamin C. And uh, now, as I have already mentioned this, that this is a very long due video, so I do have opened it and used a couple of the products. So I am going to use this as my base, like the moisturizer, and apply it all over my face. But first, let me take my bangs away from my face. So now that the bangs are away from my face, um, this cream has done good to me. It hasn't been long, like it has been around a month or so. I have been using this till now. I love it. I do think that it is suitable for acne prone skin. Next up for the foundation, I have, I really, really wanted to try L'Oreal Paris Infallible 24 Hours Matte Cover. I haven't used this like opened this so I do want to check it out and I have in the sh shade um, 102 shell beige I do want to check this out because I have seen a lot of people use this so I want to check it on my skin oh, yes the feeling of new makeup and it says high coverage but it gives natural result and long wear matte foundation so let's try this i'll take this on my foundation brush and i really hope the shade is correct whoa i <laughs> god i think that the shade is too light on me <laughs> oh no 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 i think after it it oxidize uh it will become it will come into my shape like to my um skin color let's see let's hope for the best till now i really like the coverage like wow it is really easy to blend as you can see and i like the finishing as well whoa they weren't wrong with the product details it is nice so now next step is concealer and i finally 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 after so long wait i have this maybelline instant age rewind eraser it is a multi-use concealer and god I really wanted this. Oh, see. Wow, I love this sponge hair. Look how cute it is. The shade I have is 140 Honey. Now, I did uh, buy this in a lighter shade so that I can use it under to brighten my under eye and the eyebrow thing. And this is a satisfying. this my friend is makeup is more no now it is coming Ooh. see I'll be applying it on in under eye so now I'm going to let my concealer rest for a while while that is happening I'm going to uh, shape my brows using the old uh, wet and wild ultimate brow kit now this is not a new product 
so I'm going to do it off screen off camera that's my eyebrow done and next up I am going to blend my concealer and see how it goes compared to the other concealers I have used Wow, this covers so well I like the shade isn't as bright as I thought it would be well it says honey so maybe it isn't that bright as I thought and it blends really well and it covers so nice the pores are gone and it really complements with the foundation that I used so I think it's pretty much nice moving on without wasting any time guess what i have in my hand and that is ta -da, maybelline fit me loose powder now this has been on my list for a very 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 long time and finally this decided to come into come to me the powder says loose finishing powder and there is a line little little and uh, my shade is 20 medium light medium so let's try these babies Ooh, see how good it looks and going to take a bit amount now I do think medium was too medium for me but let me set my under eye I wow I had heard people say that this powder really does uh, blurs the pores and I believe it. I believe it. So that was the powder. I'll let you know how it goes at the end of the video. Because I usually don't set my um, foundation or concealer. So I'll know the difference if it will crease or not. So up next. Um, Swiss Beauty Eye, what is it? Liquid eyeshadow. Now, this is a very, very, very trending eyeshadow. Liquid eyeshadow. I mean, like, I have seen this go nuts everywhere. So, I did wanted to try this. When I was buying it, uh, I had this in stock. I had this in cart for a very long time. But, um, this... Uh, it gets it gets sold out so fast because it is considered as a dupe of something which i'm not remembering right now but it will be somewhere out here it is dupe it is compared to that liquid eyeshadow i think i ordered it in a like silverish uh, stone silverish tone but it came out in a black tone i don't know how it will look on my eye but i'll like it and apply it on my eyelid and see the application and all because today it is all about the product review so it is in the shade 06 molten midnight um, so i'm going to apply this on my eyelid directly and it is still black i wanted it in a silver color i don't know what happened maybe sorry for the noise maybe my sister didn't see the shade while she was ordering or that i told it in a wrong way or miscommunication might have happened or maybe nika delivered the wrong shit now it has been a long time so i have no choice than to use this so yeah this kind of a liquid god this is a liquid eyeshadow obviously it will be in a liquid form 
Oh, if I blend it well, then the black shade is going to fade. So there remains the what? Do I have to keep it like that? Because wherever I am putting my finger, the oh, what to say? The eyeshadow is coming off, like it is sticking to my finger, and there is no product left. I do think that this eyeshadow is going to help help me a lot during the time that I am late for my class. I can directly apply this and go. Guys, seriously, I have very much mixed feeling about this eyeshadow. It is not as good as I expected it to be but for the price which was 200 I think I paid a little less because it was on sale um, it is worth like it is fine but it is not as much as the it, it is not as good as the hype that it has been receiving so I'm not so sure about it however I think it is it does the job I'm not going to apply any eyeliner or anything. I'm going to leave it because today is, is just about trying new makeup. So I'll be leaving it like this only. And up next, I'm going to contour my face. Now, I don't have a new product for that as well. So I'm going to use this palette. I'm just going to contour my face for sure. So next I am going to apply mascara. I am using Maybelline New, Maybelline New York's the Hyper Curl Waterproof Mascara. It is an old one as well. I have been using this since a year I guess. Yes, then. The makeup. I am loving it. I mean the foundation. And now I am going to go with the highlighter. And I am using the I'm using my old highlighter from Usha and I'm going to highlight my face for sure. So the last one left left it is the lipstick. I am using Zandori is Zendori's charming lip which is a liquid form and it is really nice. So um, to conclude, um, of the products that I have used, starting with the cream, I really love this. I have, as I have already mentioned, I have been using this, and it is very useful to my face, to my skin. I mean, it hasn't affected it or anything, so I like this. And um, talking next, uh, foundation. This is. It, this is exactly like what others described it so i love this i'm going to use this all of the time next the eraser concealer now looking at my makeup i think it is really really nice so i love it and left with the loose powder i mean this does really great job so i think it was very really useful using the uh, loose powder and lastly i have the swiss beauty liquid eyeshadow which is a very which i didn't like at all so on the right hand i have so on the left hand i have the products that i like from today's trying out new makeup video and i think you all should grab a piece of it on the right hand side i have the eyeshadow which i really really don't like so if you think that such kind of video helps you please give a like to the video and leave a comment so that i know that you all like such kind of videos and i can make some more so that's it for the video guys thank you so much before leaving please subscribe to my channel and do like this video if you think it's worth it thank you so much and see you all next time bye bye